Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about the logical file. So what is logical file? Like if you remember, we have already uh, created one session on the physical file. Like what uh, is the purpose of creating the physical file and how we can store the data into the physical file. In this function, uh, in this session, we will learn about the logical file. So let's start with the brief description. So what is logical file? Logical file is a type of file which actually doesn't contain any kind of data but it is uh, dependent on uh, one physical file which have some data and that logical file we created just for the view purpose okay so in this logical file we can set few condition and the basis of that condition it will fetch the data but it actually does not contain any data so if anyone asks you about the difference between the logical and file and physical file then uh, clearly say that a uh, physical file contains the data but a uh, logical file doesn't contain any kind of data it is only for the view purpose okay so let me show you the structure of physical file on, on the basis uh, we will create the logical file so let's see the structure of physical file so this is the emppf1 physical file we have created and it has employee id employee name employee department and key field is emp id so if you are not aware how to create physical file then you can refer that physical file session in this session mainly we will discuss about the logical file so let's uh, do the run query here to see the data that we have in emppf1 file so for that i will run this command run query then you have to write library name and your file name so emppf1 so this is the data we are having in the uh, physical file now what we will do like suppose we i don't want to show all uh, all these uh, data to my logical file or i want to create some different view so what i will do i will create the logical file for that so for that you have to create the logical file so how you will create the logical file firstly you have to press f6 here you can give the name let's say test lf and then you can create uh, you have to specify the source type as lf because it is a logical file here you can give the any description test logical file. Okay. now hit enter so once you hit enter it will uh, open in the edit mode and here you can write the source code for now i am not saving this because i have already created one lf so let's go through that so here what things we need to do uh, firstly we have to put r in this place and then you can press f4 and here in uh, name type you can write the r r means record format and here you have to specify the record format of the physical file that we want to refer so here i'm giving it as a emp pf r okay which is same as the my physical file name and after that you have to specify uh, this function p file in which we will write the physical file name which we are referring here so this is the physical file which we want to refer here in this logical file after that you can directly specify the uh, the field that you want to show here so for now i am removing these line just to explain the things in different way so here we are just uh, populating the emp id so let's try to compile this here yeah. so it is compiled now we will do the run query on lf instead of pf so run query library name and emp lf1 so if i hit enter it will show the data but only for the emp id field okay suppose i want to include my emp name also so what i will do i will just simply add one more line and write here emp name and then just compile this and just do the run query to see the data so i'm doing the run query here run query opening and closing parenthesis then library name and then file name which is emp lf1 so this time it shows only two data but if we check 
the physical file data here i have run the query for physical file so it has three columns but we are just displaying the data for the two column because in lf we have specified only two fields okay so this is the one way through which we can access the data from one physical file uh, in the form of uh, different in the form of view so you can simply consider it as a view it will just show the data in different order with uh, some kind of selection but actually it doesn't contain any kind of data but physical file contains that's why we are whenever we are compiling the logical file it does remove the data and if we do the same thing with physical file it will uh, remove or uh, delete all the data that we have inside the physical file but we can compile this logical file okay so fine so uh, let's check one thing S suppose i don't want to keep this uh, uh, record format name same as uh, we have inside this physical file so let's try to change it and just check whether it is possible or not so let me change this with test test r okay now we will try to compile it so it is compiled okay it is compiled now we will try to do the run query again yeah it doesn't affect this we can keep any record format name but make sure that you have specified the physical file name which we are referring here inside the p file function otherwise it will not work okay all right next thing we will see about the uh, select criteria in logical file so what is select criteria so to do the selection of any particular condition uh, selection in uh, for the particular condition what we will do we will use the select concept of logical file so for that what you need to do here firstly you have to define one key field on the basis of uh, that we will uh, do the uh, selection so i have specified it as k, <coughs> k means key field then insert new line and press f4 here in that name type you have to do the s s is for selection okay and after that you can put so here you have to specify the field name uh, which we want to select so let's uh, or from which we want to compare the fields so here i will put amp id and in function i will put uh, one condition cmp means compare and here i will pass g uh, lt means less than and here i will pass 5 okay. then after you can hit enter so let me explain you this line so what is s s is for selection on the basis of emp id and it will check this condition select all the data from this uh, physical file emppf1 where employee id is less than 5 so let's compile and see what data it returns Okay, so there's something wrong we have mentioned it is EMP here you have to specify EMP PF1 and then compile it take a four so after taking f4 you can check uh, these things are correct okay yeah so previously we have written it as emp pf1 but uh, make sure that whenever you are doing the select and omit criteria or select or omit per, uh, concept then make sure that you are specifying the correct record format name which is same as the uh, we have inside the physical file so when we are trying to do uh, achieve uh, retrieve the data on the basis of different uh, record format name then it gives the error so what you need to do here you have to uh, pass the exact record format name that we have inside the physical file so which is emppfr okay now we will try to compile it again so if i compile it it is compiled now okay so what uh, we have uh, what we have written here like it will check for the emp pfr file and it will select the records uh, where employee id is less than five all right 
so this is compiled now we will try to do run query here so for that you have to hit the command okay, you have to hit the command run query r u n q r y library name and emp lf1 so it shows this data and here you can see clearly that it doesn't return any record with uh, employee id greater than five but if we check the actual data then we have some data like employee id six employee id five but as we have specified the condition for selection that it should return only the employee id which has where employee id is less than five so in this way we can retrieve the data okay uh, inside the logical file and this is mainly the select criteria in our upcoming session we will discuss about the uh, logical file concept but with omit criteria and we'll see like how to omit the records from the physical file so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will learn few more things so thank you for watching texture method